So hello guys, how y'all doing today? I hope you all are doing well. So I just want to come in real quick to show you guys. Um, this is a cooperation video for In Love Hearts, um, In Love Heart Shop, and um, I had hauled, I had bought some stuff from there, and they wanted me. They gave me a coupon code, so everything's gonna be in my description box. I also did a, a, a unboxing. I'll link that video as well and you can go and look at that video and see all the things that I have gotten but I'm going to show you each one and what I made with, with the stuff that I got from here okay so um, check out their shop their description in my description box they're going to be their website it's going to be the items that I have purchased from there and also my coupon code okay all right so let's get started so now the only thing um i really could not i just use some of the stuff to make die cuts so i can share with some of my friends some things because some of my you know a lot of my friends don't have a die cutting machine and i always say that when i get one i will make things to share with them you know because i'm not going to use it all so let's start with this package right here now i don't have a big enough die die cutting machine to make something out of this with Excuse me. Um, this one is a really big one, and I don't have a big enough die cutting machine for this. Sorry if it's just shaking. But can you? Uh, can anyone tell me? Cause I have the big kick. This is the big kick or the big shot. I'll let you know. I'll I'll correct it. Um, I'll let you know what I have. But it won't fit this one. Is there a die cut machine? That will fit this that's big enough where it can fit this to run it through let me know in this in the comment section down below so i can you know maybe one of these days or whenever get one or ask the halloween fairy to get me one for the holiday with the holidays <laughs> but um i this is a really nice one and it's really big and i know this would be make this would make a nice christmas whatever for all you christmas lovers now I did make something with the rest of them. As you can tell, it still got some of the stuff in it. I got to clean it out. But this one I did make. Um, I cut it out and I used this. Um, this is how it came out when I ran it through. And this is what it looks like. So this will make a nice decoration on a card or whatever case may be. Let me just hold it up for you so you can see that. And it is this one. Okay. All right now um with these i have this one this one came out really nice um i'm gonna see which one which one of my discs i'll come back to that okay so i got a pack of these right here i'm gonna come back to this one i got a pack of these and i have all the dyes cutouts that i made with this okay so here's a smaller one i made a smaller coin this one you know, I just made different coins in different colors and different sizes. Okay. I'm just going to show you all the ones that I made. Now, the one behind it is the circular one. And it has the X's in the back here. I'll show you the, I will show you which one is that one. As a matter of fact, I should have it out here. Here it is. Okay. So the white, the white one, this one here is this one. It's made with this one. Okay. And this gray part right here is made with the medium size of this one. All right. So we have those. And I just went from small to big. I kept going up in size because you get one, two, three, four, five of these in here. But I didn't do anything with the smaller ones. Okay. So, oops. My other thing is coming off made of coins and here are the real big ones that I made from this one okay this is the real big one and now here is the big one of this one here okay all right I'm trying to go through this quickly because I don't want to waste a lot of you guys' time because I know you have things to do. Now, I also received this skull, um, this sugar skull head in here. What is this sugar skull? It is. I received this in the package as well. 
So what I made was I just did some die cuts with it. I didn't really make anything because I, like I said, I was cutting out things to share. But this is what it looks like when you run it through and you cut it out. This is what it looked like. I did a white one and a black one. Okay, so that's that. Oh, also, um, what I did was with the circular ones here. Sorry. Oh, here it is. Okay, so with this one, I also made a shaker. See, I made a shaker. Let me get it close up to you. And I made, I put like the little um, spider webs around, with the spiders around it. I used some tool and I added some sequins in there. And I just made a little shaker out of it. See, just something. I was just experimenting. <laughs> Okay, so now we know that. Um, okay, so this is like um, maybe like water or liquid dripping down. This, so I made some um, cutouts. And I did make a card with this in here. So this is what they look like when you cut them out. This is what it looks like when you cut it out. And I used two different colors of orange, two different shades of orange, and then I did a black one. Okay, and what I made with that was, um, hmm, where is it? Okay, I had made this card. Uh, it's not completely done, but I had made this card, and as you can see, I had made it so it could look like something that's oozing down and this is a shaker card and in here is another um it says happy halloween and it's another die that i got from here okay so when i shake it this is what it looks like okay this is what it looks like here and um i didn't do anything in the inside but when i clean it up a little bit i will um do that and I put sequins and ghosts all in here. So I made the front with some tool underneath it. And I just um, hot glued it down at the ribbons that says boo here. And it has the trim in here. So I used two die cuts in here. The one that says happy Halloween with the spider. And this here with the with the oozing. With the liquid oozing down. So, And that is my shaker. And I'm just starting to learn how to make shakers. So these are like my little practice things here. So this won't be going out to anyone. Because this is my practice. Okay. So that's that with that. My next card. My next die is the haunted house. So I. What I did was. I did a cutout. So send, send in a package. I did a cutout. And this is what it looks like when it's cut out. Okay. And this is what it looks like when you make try to make a card with it. So it looks like this on paper. This card I'm not too happy about. That's why I'm not giving it to anyone. But this is what it looks like, you know, cut out and on paper. Okay. Now. All right. So that's that. Next up is the Memory Dex Open Book Card. Now. I know a lot of you crafters have seen this before, um, and I thought it was really cool. Um, the Memory Dex does come out a little small, but it's okay because it's still it does what it's supposed to do. You know, this is the this is the the base. It's the hard part. This makes the second piece. This makes the booklet. Okay. So that makes the booklet. So you have your frame, you have your heart piece, and then you have the two doors inside of here. And you have the two doors, okay? Okay, so you have your two doors. To go with the pieces okay so you have all of that and this is what it looks like when it's done um, I'm going to show you some that I had made already and I made some of these um, this is what it looks like 
it's kind of small but it's okay um this is what it looks like here and i just put up two sh two um danger skulls there i opened it up you could open it up there is your that's the solid piece there here's your memory decks and you can close it back and this is what it looked like on the in the back okay i really do like that i just made several different ones And stuff I just made different ones here and you can add put your information on the back if you're gonna exchange one you know exchange one with another person so here we go another one and this is what it looks like in the back and the thing about this is that you can use the, the you can use the base, the frame, one color, and you can use this solid one for a different color, you know, to give it the match up, a different effect. All right, so that is that for this. Now, here we go. This is called a note card, and I'm going to show you what I did to make this note card, um, which I think is really cool. You can use this note card to make just some notes and stuff like that it's really simple you can just make it how you want and what i did was i cut it out and i made note cards and then i just took some um paper and i just trimmed you know made like a border at the bottom and you can write if this is a dark piece of paper you can write in silver the note that you want to somebody or you could just add a piece of paper and write on it as a note and the same for this one okay so i really enjoyed you know making some of the things i wish i could have done more i really wish i had a die cut machine that would fit this but mine doesn't fit this so I, i'm gonna wait until i get one but i really did have fun creating and you know things and and making other stuff for other people i hope in love heart shop i hope you like this video um please share it with your friends share it on social media and thank you once again in love heart shop for including me and i hope we can work together um soon you know if you will and you guys make sure you go check them out i will have everything in the description box the website most of you already know about them the website the code that i have for 15 percent off and then you can also the links to each one of these items that i purchased so you guys have a great day and thank you for watching bye